and welcome back. If you're new, hello, welcome. Feel free to subscribe, that would make my day. So today we're talking about Lash. Now we all know the 50% sale is coming up very soon, like Boxing Day soon. Um, so I thought I'd share a bit of a review on some of the products I've already been using. Please note, I obviously used some of them before this video, so I've done the cutaways for most of them before now. That makes sense? Excellent, glad we talked that out. It's just because I'll look different, so you'll know what I mean. So I'm gonna start, I have a few, I have a bath bomb, some bubble bars, a bath melt, um, shower gel, lip scrub, lotion. I got a bit excited when I went to the Lush event a while ago. Yeah. Anyway, review of the things. Let's start with the bubble bar. First up we have Twilight, and this has been a long standing favorite for me, so it's not like a seasonal one, but it's, it's, it's perfect. If you have problems sleeping and things like that, this is perfect. It retails for $3.75. Now, it is a bath bomb rather than a bubble bar, so you're not gonna get as many bubbles as you would with a bubble bar, obvs. But I tend to use it, so I will use only half of this. You can go whole hog and use the whole thing, but I like to make them last, because the Lush isn't cheap, and I'm now on a very strict budget, so I wanna make them last as long as possible. So I used half of the bubble bar, that I used half of the bath bomb, words and it goes the water goes this lovely purpley gray kind of color and there is a wee bit of glitter in there as well when you break the bath bomb in half you'll see it's got like it's purple on the outside and then it's got like more bluey kind of colors on the inside so that gives you the gray color you will get a certain amount of bubbles i tend to run it under the tap but you know i'll break a chunk off and you know break it up under the tap um as the bath is filling up and you will get a certain amount of bubbles um, they tend to dissipate after a while because I tend to sit there and I will read at the minute I'm reading all about SEO and marketing and fun stuff <laughs> but I'll lie in the bath for like the best part of an hour while I have a read and obviously the, the bubbles will disappear at that point but that's fine, I don't mind I love the smell of this on my skin so when you get out of the bath with most of Lush products you will smell like the product you have been lying in and when you get out of the bath it's just I actually had some of it this morning and it's still there and it's kind of it's like a sweet lavender it is lovely it's like lavender but it's I don't know it's just got a richness to it and it smells really really good I love it it will be a long-standing sort of favorite one I will always pick up because I'm a terrible sleeper but I did use it this morning as well but uh, <laughs> it's just it's a really good all-rounder it's just got a lovely lavender scent and it's just very relaxing. So at the minute I'm stressed, so I thought it was a good idea to have a bath this morning to just de-stress a wee bit and just take a breath and relax and it's perfect for that. So that's Twilight. Um, next up we have the Comforter. Now this one we got to make and it's a bubble bar and there are so many bubbles with this you you only need like half of it or in my case I used it I used a third of what I made because it was kind of big uh, normally the sort of normal size ones you get it for 4.95 but it lasts really a long time um, and you get a fair amount of bubbles considering like I only used a third and my bath was pretty full of bubbles and it was great it has got more of a black currenty kind of smell now there's no glitter or anything with this one so if you're not a fan of the glitter there's no glitter in this one and this one's just lovely. It's kind of more like a stimulating sort of one while also being relaxing because baths for me are very relaxing anyway. But it's a lovely one to lie in. It's got a really lovely scent. It's really rich. It's kind of warming. It's just, I love it. I really love it. It's another one. It's not a seasonal one and it's around forever and it will probably be around forever because it is such a classic. You can get it in a shower gel. You can get it in all sorts. You can get it in another product I'm going to mention in a minute. Well, similar smell anyway. But yeah, this one's a classic. Again, you only need a small amount and it goes a long way. Very, very, very bubbly. It rocks. Oh, and obviously the water goes out a lovely rich pink kind of color underneath all the bubbles. So in case you're wondering about the color of your bath. The next, I have another bubble bar and it is the Magic of Christmas. So it is a seasonal one and that retails for $5.95 and it's a reusable one. So it comes with a cinnamon stick in it and a little bell attached, which is very sweet. Um, and you swirl it, I ran under the tap a wee bit and then swirled it into the water. There is a fair amount of gold glitter in there, which is fine. I don't mind the glitter myself. I generally tend to use it and then wash the bath the next morning anyway. Um, but there is like, a, you know, if you're not a fan of the glitter, there's a fair amount of glitter in this one. This has got more of a cinnamon warming scent with a bit of an almond undertone to it. And to be honest, I like this one, but it's my least favorite out of all the ones that I've tried. Um, I kind of expected 
much more Christmassy smells from it because it does have that cinnamon and it has got a spice to it and it has got that sort of scent when you smell it in the bag. It can be very strong and then when you put it in the bath it faded. So initially I was a bit, oh, I like the scent, but then it faded a bit and then it was a bit, I don't know, it was a bit, I wasn't a fan of it as much in the bath. It has grown on me, it is definitely, if, maybe it'll be more of a, it's not a masculine scent, but it's much more of a sort of unisex kind of scent. There's no real, I would expect a wee bit more sweetness with the almond and stuff in there, but it's still a really nice scent. It's just not my favorite out of the bunch I've tried. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for something that looks thoroughly festive and all that kind of jazz, this is right up your street. It's perfect for that. Um, and it retails, as I said, for 5 dollars and it's reusable. So that, for me, tickled me completely. You do have to, when I tuck it out, I put it to one side and I tuck it all the way out of the bathroom because obviously your bath is going to be very steamy and all that kind of jazz. I tuck it all the way out and I may have sat it on the windowsill to dry it out a wee bit. <laughs> but it's fine for reusing and it's, you still get the same amount of bubbles. It's not as bubbly as the comforter for me, but it's still pretty bubbly. So, you know, that's the winner because it is a bubble bar. Now I have the m -m -m melting marshmallow. All the M's at the start of that one. <laughs> or maybe it's just melting marshmallow. I'm not entirely sure. You can try it out for yourself. This one is tiny and it's a bath oil and it retails for two pounds. Now this was also another favorite. I loved the smell of this. It has got that lovely sweet marshmallowy kind of scent to it without being overpowering. I was a wee bit worried when I got it that it would be really overpowering when I put it in the bath but it wasn't. It really, really wasn't. It was just really luxurious. It had, uh, it's a mostly pinky kind of um, color to start with and then it went more yellowy because the other side is yellow. So you have pink on top, or a pink on one side and yellow on the other side. It kind of went more yellowy, um, which is a word. And <laughs> as it's sort of, this is when you put into the bath, um, as you're filling it up, don't, you don't need to put it on the top. I just popped it into the bath and then it sort of swirled about a bit as the water moved around and just gradually dissolved. My skin felt so nice when I got out of this. It was it was like I'd moisturized while lying in the bath. It was so very nice and I smelled fabulous. I just was wandering around smelling myself. Normal behavior, yes, excellent. But I did that and I absolutely loved it. Like. I really love it. It's only two pounds, which is maybe expensive, but I don't think it is for like a really good luxurious bath. It's just perfect. If you wanted to top it up with like a bubble bar or something, you can do that as well if you want the bubbles. You won't get bubbles with this, it's an oil. But it's just lush. It is just beautiful. I love the scent. It wasn't too strong. It just had a nice sweetness to it. My skin felt fabulous. And it just was really soothing in the bath. I'm not sure what it was about it, but oils in the bath are generally really nice. I've used oils in the bath before, but it's so soothing. And there is glitter in this one, uh, to be warned, but it's just perfect. I would recommend cleaning your bath afterwards because it can leave the bath a wee bit slippy, that oil in it. But I loved it so very much. So if you're looking for a wee stocking filler for me, if you need anything, Lush Mama Melted Marshmallow. <laughs> I'm just going to tickle myself saying that over and over again. But it was perfect. Really, really good. And if you have got dry skin and you suffer from dry skin and sometimes baths aren't the best idea, especially you live somewhere where it's got hard water, your skin may dry out a wee bit more. If that's something you're concerned about, maybe try one of these out. Just try oils in your bath in general, but try one of these out because it's perfect. Now, so that's all the sort of bubble baths and bath bombs. Now on to more sort of other things words again so I have the bubbly shower gel now I've been using this one and I forgot to do the cutaway for this one before so if it looks a wee bit gross I apologize but I have been using this and it's half gone I really like this for the mornings it's really really good and it's got a nice sort of freshness without being zingy does that make sense so it has things like lime and grape and what else is good in there oh it's got a bit of orange in there as well so it has that lovely but not vibrant you know it gives you a bit of a wake shot basically it gets your blood going you know that kind of way it's really nice in the mornings and it's not overly sweet and it's just a nice one to use in the shower you don't need very much at all to lather up you need a small amount I tend to use one of those puffs in the shower you don't need very much at all a little goes a long way definitely recommend it this one retails for 4.95 for 100 ml so it is a bit expensive 
but these last for ages. Normally with some shower gels you have to use practically half the bottle to get some bubbles on there. Or at least Simon tends to think so. What is it with blokes tending to get overexcited about the amount of shower gel they use? Anyway, but this one will last ages. It's really nice perfect for the mornings as I said and it's just a nice one I think it would suit a lot of people although I'm aware some people aren't a fan but if somebody wants something for the mornings this is one for them now on to the other extra wee bits if we're talking um, lip scrubs and things I tried out the sugar plum fairy it is a festive sort of one obviously sugar plum fairy Christmassy goodness this retails for 5 75 and it smells like the comforter I am a fan of the sugar scrubs anyway. I try and use them a couple of times a week in the evenings. So I'll do that and then I'll put on my Dr. Paw Paw over the top and go to bed. It's really good. It does such a good job. Obviously, if you're not a fan of sticking your hand into something and that kind of stuff, it's not the one for you. But I always go in with clean hands, so I'm not that stressed about it. it does a really good job. You just rub it over your lips and I tend to do sort of slightly circular motions and side to side and up and down. Anything I can do to basically get the dead skin off my lips. I bite my lips so much that I never have nice smooth lips. I'm terrible. But it does a really good job getting rid of anything that's hanging about, basically. Freshens everything up and it smells so good. It just smells really, really good, people. You need to go and try it out. And then lastly, we have Sleepy, which is a lotion. And this is a really nice body lotion. It's actually not, when I always think of lotions, I think really sort of thin moisturizers. This isn't that. It's actually quite a, a thick moisturizer. I was very surprised. And again, this is a perfect one, especially if you use Twilight and then you use Sleepy, you're gonna have the best night's sleep. It has got a really nice lavender scent to it and it's just really relaxing and very calming and it's so nice on the skin. It is incredibly moisturizing very very hydrating like my skin was hydrated for at least a day after you know I had a shower like the next day and I did definitely clean myself but my skin still felt really hydrated and didn't dry out and I live in hard water area so you'd expect my skin to dry out a bit not an issue I really like this stuff it's a really nice luxurious product to use to give yourself a nice way to round out your evening and it retails for $7.95 uh, I'm not sure if I said that and that's for I think $7.95 for 95 grams so it is a wee bit on the pricey side but it's a nice luxury product to use maybe once or twice a week perfect and you don't need loads of it it's not one of these where you have to slather yourself in it you can just gradually add a wee bit more and whatever else it's really really nice i tend to just use it on my arms and legs and all over myself actually but it's really really nice i've said that about 20 times it is it's really nice people but that is it so that's a quick rundown of the products i have been using and I love it very much. Um, I would definitely pick up the Twilight again, the Comforter, uh, the Melting Marshmallow. What else would I definitely pick oh, I love Sleepy, it's really nice. And the Lip Scrub. I liked all of them. The only one I wouldn't be bothered about picking up again would be the Magic of Christmas. So the reusable bubble bar that I used. It was the only one I was a bit like, meh. It was good, but it's not all that. I would try one of the other ones the next time because there are lots of other options available. But that is it. Hope you've like answered some questions there. If you've any questions, let me know down below. Thanks a million for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell all your friends and I will see you in the next one. Bye.